You say we gotta stay alive, no man, no man. Konnichiwa, minna. Countdown TV, Okolano Miyasan. Konbawa, Edo for Des. And I'm back with another video. Welcome if you are new and old to my official channel of Edo Numo. Today's topic is the band of Moonchild, not the 19 year old Japanese movie with Gatchet and Hai or the indie band with the same name. I actually do mean the Japanese band called Moonchild or Tsuki Kodomo. Well, on that note, we're going to also discuss a bit of the history of the band Script 2. I'm also going to be uh, sharing their stories and explaining it the best way I can while speaking in Japanese on how I first encountered them while putting these subtitles in English, Spanish, French, and of course, Japanese. This is going to be my third musical artist report from AVIX Record. So now everyone, huddle close to your station with your night clothes and let's enjoy the second evening reports. Hmm. We're going to begin our journey with our leader and guitarist, Osamu Sasaki, born in Iwate Prefecture on October the 26th of 1971. Iwa Takayatsu Watanabe, born in the same year as Osamu in the new year of 71 of the 29th of January and from Tokyo. Our third member is the drummer K. Kashiyama, born in Wakayame Prefecture and born in the summer of July the 25th of 1970. Saigoni Hinori Akiyama, born in the same year as K. on the April the 22nd and from the Chiba Prefecture. Osamu's reason for being a singer is the death of his grandpa when he was in the second grade. Since his gramps was a catalyst for music, it encouraged him to go outside of his music boundaries. Even though he wasn't very popular while struggling in school, his determination of being the best of music outlived his struggle, especially since people would come together to hear him perform and sing, and his music teacher was his first fan and supporter. He met Takayatsu and K to form a five-member band called GZ Cart from 1987 to 1993. Two of the members left because of the, their lack of success, while also those two members weren't taking the band seriously. So, Osamu had to not only make a change, but come up with a new name. Because he loved the band called Moon Riders, that's how they come up with Moonchild, was born from the moon. From the help of the producer Kyode Yura, that produced for a band called Mr. Children, while also being the same age as Osamu, and Takayatsu, he helped them get into a record company called Avix. On their arrival, they met Hironori just in time for their third single. And now we'll be moving on to their, their discography of Moonchild and Scripts. to begin a new year new me with brand new gear their new day started 
on the 8th of May in 1996 and released on Avix Tracks Records. Second single is Going Over the Rainbow of the same year on July the 17th. This was the first single that made it into the charts of number 99 three times and their last single that also had just three members. The third single that invited the final member Hinari is Blue Suede Shooting Star and released on October the 9th. Their first album called Tambourine plays its instruments on September the 21st on a Thursday while shaking onto the 65th place along with their first tour in September. And now we're going to move on to the next year of Watashi no Umarete Nenga Senkyu Haku Kyuju Nana. The fourth single was a slight fever of a Binitsu Feel Ill on the 12th of March 1997. But their sixth single of a flower called Anamone made everything better being smelt on the 10th of September while healing on the 13th place and become the theme song of Countdown TV 2. The second to last thing in 97 is their seventh single called Hallelujah in the Snow, released on October the 29th and on the 16th place while doing tour, two tours in September and December. Now, before the year of 97 is over, there are two things that i like to share with you from my Tomi Shinohara report. Please enjoy. One of the shows she was in is a drama series called Five, where she and five other prisoners escape and become agents to figure out how they can get out and live in society. This had 11 episodes from April the 19th to the 28th of June in 1997. The ending song of the soundtrack of Five is called Escape from a rock band called Moon Child. Broke out in May the 28th of 1997 and won the first place for the fifth single on Avix tracks from the second album called My Little Red Book. That won the fourth place and was released on September the 27th of the same year. Thanks, Ed O'Four from the Winter Report. So now we're going to move on to the year of 1998 of the third year of Moonchild. Their eighth single is a salute to a man named Normad called Requiem for the Man of Normad sent the final send-off in May the 13th of 1998 while being on the 34th place and became the ending theme song of Hey 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 Music Champ. The ninth single came back as a frisbee thrown on the 12th of August placed on the 48th place and once again made it to the soundtrack of CD TV, Countdown TV. Their second to last single is named Gloria, born on September the 26th and made it to the 8th place. The last single for their 11th time is called Star Tours, released on January the 13th of the new year of 1999 and scored on the 75th place. Their third and last album, Pop and Decadence, released on the same month of the 27th and put on the 25th place. Now even though Moonchild has ended, a new story has been put together within this chapter for another group that I am particularly working on right now, which is called A Script. For the last year of the 90s, Osamu and Takayatsu wanted to move on to something new for the 21st century. So they not only had their last 
concert, but this is how they started Script. The first single release was called Talking Heads on the winter of the millennium of December 6, 2000 and used for a TBS show called King's Brunch. Their first album is a guide for boys called Gentlemen Live was released at the start of the early 2000s and on January the 21st on AFD and Kitty MME Records. The second album is called Script Is Here, arrived in the new year of 2001 on January the 24th and placed in the 93rd place and has all new tracks along with their first single, Talking Heads. The second single is called Stripe Blue, released on the 30th of May and became the ending theme song of a show translated as Japanese is Strange. The third single is an inspiration thought of on September the 27th place on the 39th place and used for the third to first time and also the last of CD TV. The fourth single is a sound of a siren released on the 28th of September and placed on the 96th place. The third album is speaking another language called body language spoken on September the 28th and graded on the 75th place. The fifth single is what you call a person that you do not know which is a Stranger, released on the April 24th of 2002, placed on the 70th place, and became the ending of the theme of Kambiki Joho, sold out theater. The fourth album is the first season of the series of scripts called Scripts Domestic Industry 1, Fantastic or Drastic, broadcasted on the new year of 2003, January the 24th. The fifth album is the second season of the domestic industry of Ultimate or Incomplete, released on the 23rd of May and placed on the 261st chart. The sixth album of the third to the last of this season of their series of domestic industry is nature or man-made figured out on September 21st and made it to the 201st place on the chart of top 200. The sixth single made it to the station glory of youth graduated of February the 2nd of 2005 made it to the soundtrack of the movie the first game and praise on the 24th place six times. The seventh album took 10 strokes, released on September the 3rd in 2006 and made it to the 226th place. The eighth album is the newest Vieta, released on the March the 7th of 2008, did a concert video, their second one, of Live in the Future and made it to the 291st place. The seventh single is called Baby Romantica, released in the same year of 21st of May, placed on the 98th place and became the ending theme of the anime True Romance. The eighth and last single of this chapter is called Cold Blue and was released on September the 5th of 2010. The last album for this script is Sky Rockets, blasted off on the 5th of March of that same year and landed in the 293rd place while also putting the last tour called Free Fall last year. So before I end this chapter of this script, we got to know what is the aftermath a moon child. Even 
even though Moonchild and script is finished, Osamu still did his work from about nine years ago and presently, along with the soundtrack to the anime called The Great Job Will Not Be Defeated. K also had his own band that is called Decay since 2015. Moonchild has done reunion tour from 2013 to presently, but now we must ask, what do I like about Moonchild? What I like about them is, is that their bond feels like family. My favorite member is the leader, Osamu, just because his voice sounds so smooth like buttery jazz. But I do love the other members too. So now I'm going to speak in Japanese on how I found Moonchild. So please enjoy my Nihongo voice. Mata, mata toki wa nisen ichi ichi no mae machi. YouTube no mita toki wa kako tonate. The nana nense no to hachi nense. Avix CM no. Tambourine Moonchild Fast Album The TV de to Evix The Uta de toki wa Brand New Day Daisuki nan no To hajimete uta de kitai toki wa And now I'm going to mix it up again So Story Time Edo Take it away Arigato Edo for Young Nengo Sid the Kid the Internet Concert the New Orleans Concert Moonchild de Omota de Nihon Go Bando Darida Shinai to Shikashi the American G Indian band. Then more Subashi de to Koknaku the Ato de Omoshioi the Hazagashi story. The ego de Super Katakuri style. Um, four years later, when I listened to Moonchild, but it was only that first song that I found. I thought they were coming to New Orleans in America to perform with I Future and Sid the Kid of the Internet. Even though no one else in line knew who Moonchild was, the Japanese and the American band, it was a completely different band than what I imagined, but they were really awesome. And I'll also come back to this story as well. So at this point, we're gonna go back to me speaking in Japanese. So back to you, Edo 4. Arigato story time, Edo. Hachi Niju Ichiwa the Moonchild Hito the Ego de on August the 21st will be celebrated as Moonchild Day. Since this is where all the four members have officially met and began their journey. So happy late late and early 26th anniversary to you guys. Ego de Hanashimasu. So once again, I'm announcing another recommendation of a tour of Moonchild JP and Moonchild ENG concert with special guests of the internet, Mr. Children, Fishman, Netherlanders, Fishbone, Gatchit, Living Color, Hide, and X Japan. And I believe, I imagine the name of the concert would be called 
Moon People Unite. Also, learning about from Osamu's stories also comes from Note as well. This will be my second to last time doing this, but if you guys have more recommendations of more toy ideas to come up with for reports and anything similar like that, please comment down below. And now for our sponsor shout out. Okay, Mina, the shout outs for today goes to all the member of Moonchild of Osamu, Inori, Takayatsu, K, along with the DKs as well, and Aang Pang 18. And for the shout outs for this video goes to Savage AF, Forget Your Feelings, The Facts Matter, Lady Nuna, up-and-coming band called Let's Tokushima, Nobody's Ruthless, Uploaded Brain, an up-and-coming artist named Kaze Bay, Tomo Rock, Osamu Staff, Squizzy, Stan Lover, Cole, Blau and Ghana, Luna Rose, Aim and Shoot Pictures, Motion Pictures, Shoot Kani, Bokun Channel, Emi Hor Horror Channel, Len Won Work, an up and coming rapper named Lil Will, Alice the Guitarist, Hong's Par, mm. Hong's Pictures, O R I, and Sina Menvio. Editing Edo has came with an update. For the color video, we now have the high quality definition of their first two songs. It may be a different version, but it is the high quality versions of Y and um, Double or Nothing. So please enjoy. And also, thank you so much to Yurisa and Mayumi for liking my report as well for my color and busy report. Now back to the shout out. Thank you all for watching my 81st video. I hope you guys all enjoyed my 17th report of Moonchild. Not only check out the first anniversary of my Q&A special for my second channel of the podcast channel with the AIM Pay 18, but also check out his recent video called Myra's Last Day of School of the link in the below. Coming up really, really later down the line is a Q&A special for not just myself for my main channel, but also for Down Heart for Life, aka Keep Down Heart or Aaron. Thank you all for the questions that you guys had so far. And I'll also be working, that's also coming up next on that note, is the 18th report of the Berries Workshop. I'll be working there. So I'll see you around and good morning. <laughs> It's brand new day of the new year of seventy one of the twenty ninth of January. Born in the same year as Osamu, released on October the 9th, since Sit Yongnengo, Yuan Zani, Gombawa, Edo for Death.
Do, 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 do. Seven years. Seven. Okay, we now our shouts go for <laughs> two of the members have left because the lack of success. While oh, the fifth album is the second series. Ah. The fifth album is the second season of the domestic industry of Ultimate or Incomplete, released on the 23rd of May and placed on the 20th. Ah, man. single is an inspiration thought on the September the 27th place on the 39th place and third the first time once again used for countdown TV anything excuse me Ah. Uh. Tick-tock. 